In this video, I'm going to show you how you can send embedded messages on your Discord server. For this, we'll be using this site called discohook.org. When you first come in into the site, you're going to have all this overwhelming gibberish, but you can clear it all. Basically, on the left, it's where you set it up, and on the right, you have a preview of what you have. So basically, all of this is just all of these messages, but like, let, let's go ahead and clear all that up, right? So once we have all these clear, then we can start typing our message here on the left. But before we do that, I want you to go back to your Discord server and I want you to create a webhook. And if you don't know how to create one, let me show you. You go to server settings. And then once you're in server settings, you go to integrations. On integrations, you have webhooks. You create webhook, right? So you don't have to name it. You don't have to do anything. Just select the channel where you want the embedded message to be sent. I'm going to select general and then click save changes. Once I save the changes, then I copy the webhook URL and that is it. That's all you need to do on webhooks. We can close and then go back and I'm going to paste webhook URL, control V and we have the webhook URL. Okay. So now that we have that, then we do the embedded message. So if you type here, it's just going to be a normal message. So we're going to click the embed because that's what we're focusing on. And once you do embed message, then you click to expand it and you will have all these options. So we're going to select the body first. Let's do something like a welcome screen, right? Whatever text you put on the title is going to be bold. And then we're going to do a body or something like that. Just put whatever you want there. This is basically just the body where the text is going to be. If you want to change the color of this bar, you will have to select it from here. You can put the hex code of the color or you can just select it. I'm going to select something like a blue or whatever. Right? So, so we have a color on here too. I'm not going to go through all the options, but at least the ones that I find the most interesting. You can change the profile picture, but you're going to need the URL of the image. I'm going to show you an example. So I just Google SpongeBob. If I choose one of these images, let's see, I'm going to check this one because it looks nice. I'm going to right click on it and then click on copy image address. I go back to this go hook and then I right click and I paste image address. And as you can see now, the profile picture is that image that I selected. So if you want a custom image, you're going to need to upload it somewhere else that allows you to copy the image address. That's a little complicated, so you're going to have to do that on your own. You can also change the username of the embed. For example, I'm going to call it SpongeBob. So now as you can see on the right, you have the preview of the message. So all the changes that I'm making here, you're going to be seeing them on the right. Okay, so there's also an option that you can add images to it. I'm going to go back to Google. Let's choose this one, for example, right click, copy image address, and I'm going to paste an image. As you can see, you can add an image to the message and I'm going to show you a trick that's not explicitly here. If you add an URL to your title, you can add multiple images. So I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to make up a thing. Let's say I'm going to copy this, right? And where's my title here URL? I'm going to HTTPS google.com, right? It's something absolutely weird. I added a URL to the title and as you can see now I can add multiple images. So I'm going to choose another one. Let's say this one, right click image address, this go hook, and I'm going to paste boom now you have two images and you can keep on doing the same thing so you can add up to four images now that i have a spongebob theme i'd rather have it yellow there you go so not only you can have four images you can also have gifs i'm going to remove these images and i'm going to show you so i left only one i'm going to grab a gif i'm going to click here right click image address paste i'm going to replace the first image with another gif And there you go. You also have gives. Um, you can keep adding things like footer. Like if you add stuff down there, you can have like a date. You can even also like add an icon. As you can see, you have an icon and a name at a date, whatever. Like this is so versatile. You can do a bunch of things. You can add some subtext. For example, if you add a field, then you kind of like have, um, let's see, enjoy and you enjoy. There you go. So you can have subtext. So once you're done doing all of this, you can send that message and it will be sent to your Discord server where the webhook is set up. Let's go to our Discord server. Here we go. As you can see, that is my embed message. I can zoom out a little. So basically you can have messages that look like they were sent by amazing bots 
but it was just yourself playing with embedded messages on Discord hook. Remember that you can be featured at the end of this video, so if you have any tutorial ideas, please come to our Discord server, the link is in the description, and drop your ideas there. If I haven't done it, I'll give you a shout out at the end of the video. I hope this one was helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel, it's totally free. Have a very good rest of the day my friends, and stay safe out there.